Welcome to part 2 of the Air King 2022 model pattern assembly design. Let's make the dial today. So go to start mechanical design and select part design. We're going to name this part the dial. Let's hide all these planes and instead work with an access system. Select the XY plane and sketch. And we're going to make a simple circle using center and radius. Let's give it a diameter of 34, which was the inner diameter of the middle block. And exit the workbench. We're going to make a pad with a height of 4.3 millimeters. Like so. And now we need to make another part where our minute hand the hour hand and the second hands are going to sit. So select the ZX plane or the ZY and sketch. And select profile and make a profile similar to this. It's like a step. Three point step like so. And it goes back. Let me zoom in for you in case it's now visible for you so like so and then double click on constraint and we need to specify at the height as well as these horizontal distances and lastly between this line and this coincidence now let's define the heights all heights are 0.4 And this is point two, the first one. The rest are point four. Like so. And exit the workbench. Now select shaft. And select the Z axis. And select OK. Let's hide that. And if I select part body, and we change to this color. So now you can see. If you need more visibility, you can select uh, shading with edges. So this is what it's looking like. Now let's go back to shading with material and apply a material to our design. And we're just going to do the steel just like the middle block just like that so go to the material that you just created and double click to edit and i just want you to make sure that the reflectivity is all the way back to zero and the reason we're doing this is because we're not going to create the internal components of the watch so there's no need for us to go you know creating all these numbers we can just place an image so you can go online and search for an image of the air king dial and you're going to go to texture once you save it select image and then here you're going to browse the image. In this case, I have mine saved here. Now, let's reduce the material size. As you can see, it's pretty large. Let's go to about try 50 at first. Okay. Now, let's try 40. Let's zoom in to see. Okay, now we want to change the mapping to planar or you can go to adaptive. But in this case, uh, because we just need the front face, we can just select planner. And then you're going to adjust this material size to fit on, uh, up to the edge. So you can just increase by one or two 
once it starts flowing over to the side that uh, i would say that's okay now if you notice here it's pretty dull and that's because it's taking the lighting settings of steel metal so we need to go back to lighting and we're going to increase the ambient all the way and also the roughness up to about that point so the visibility is pretty good and now the other thing you need to check is whether it's at the middle as you can see here there's kind of an offset we kind of need to push it a little bit don't know if it's visible okay let me show you what we're going to do first save this and then let's go to insert body and I, I want to change this shaft to this new body so just cut it and paste it here so we can hide it hide that sketch as well so what i need to do is to create a circle at the center to help me uh, check whether this this center of this dial is centralized so you can just select the xy plane let's go to part body and define in work object first then select the xy plane sketch and create that circle like that exit the workbench I'm going to hide the access system. Okay, now let's go back to the steel and select top view. And now you can use this as reference to align. You have this positioning, you have U and you have V. So you can see this one is going sideways. And this one is for adjusting um, vertically. So what you need to do here. Is to just try to adjust it as much as possible. okay i think that looks good yep at least now it's more um more at the center than it was and apply and select okay now you can delete that sketch and you have your dial just show the the other body once again you can give it a different material body tool so that it is visible so let's give it a painting and we can select metal blue like so so now it's uh, clearly visible And just save your work. Alright, in the next part, we're going to create the, uh, the hands. That is the hour hand, minute hand, and second hand. So, I'll see you there.